You know, for all the talk about how your system is so different from ours in the States, I'm not so sure. I mean, think about it. We have a president and you have a prime minister who acts like a president. Oh, I know, I've looked at all the diagrams in your political textbooks and you have the parliamentary system. There is no nationally elected chief executive. The leader of the majority party becomes the prime minister and he's merely the leader of the cabinet and they run the departments. Yeah, right, come on. Tony Blair is Bill Clinton without the extracurricular social life. And I'm not being critical. I'm just suggesting it's inevitable. It's the nature of being a leader. They're all the same. Regardless of the country or the system, leaders want to be in charge. They all deal with the system they've been handed, and then they figure out how to manipulate it or maneuver around it to achieve their desired goals. Tony Blair didn't enter politics because he didn't have an opinion or because he was shy in front of people or didn't want to make decisions. People who live their lives with the I don't know, what do you think, tell me what to do kind of attitude don't become politicians in the first place. In America, they don't run for president, and here in Great Britain, they certainly don't run for leader of the party. No, Tony Blair is your prime minister, and he wants to be your president because he likes being in charge. He's running the show much as Margaret Thatcher did during her day. Sure, there's a parliament, but with his majority, that's not much of a problem. And yes, there's a cabinet, but its members serve only at his pleasure. And yeah, there's the national media, but let's face it, he works the press and cameras better than a talk show host. Indeed, as an outsider looking in, it's hard not to conclude that England, for better or worse, is the Tony Blair show. Perhaps there's nothing wrong with that, but you have to be a little bit careful because you don't have the checks and balances on his power as we have on our president, with a separately elected Congress and the Supreme Court and term limits, not to mention the written Constitution. No, Tony Blair is your president, and unless you live in Sedgefield, you didn't even get to vote for him. But then again, George Bush is our president, and we didn't get to vote for him either. We voted for Al Gore.